Hello friends, welcome back to All About Us. In this video, we are going to see how to create a role for a user. See, uh, when when you are implementing, it is very important to assign a role and authorization to the user. So, these activities mainly will be taken care by basis team. So, as a functional, we should be aware of few things. So, I'm going to today. I'm going to show you how to create a role for a simple VA01 for a VA01 transaction. So, first, let us say the what is a transaction code for roles and operation. Here, CG is the transaction code to create a role. And then you can see here what are the standard roles available in the system. So those are the few standard roles SAP is given. So I want to have a one custom so custom role. So that goes like this. Z underscore SD underscore and we I am creating for sales order right so sales user so I am creating a role for a user which is a either menu role or a single role so I am going to create this with a single role then description I am maintaining for sales team So if you want to do any changes, first you need to save the role, then it allows you to go further. I am going to menu. Here role menu is either I can assign transaction wise a role or directly assign from the SAP menu. So if I want to assign from the SAP menu, I am going to menu options. Sorry, sorry. From menus. From the SAP menu. Click on local. See, so these are the all the SAP menus. In this, I'm going for logistics. Health and distribution. Then, see, most of in companies you have a different roles like a different teams for master data handling and then different team for order and then various team usually takes care of delivery and then finally final billing team and finance team will take care of invoices all. so I'm going to create one here separate rule for create change and display Here are subsequent functions in create change display here you can see here other functions in outbound delivery billing so I don't want to assign to that I want to assign only create change display click on transfer so if you can drill down this sales order now you can see create change display okay then I am going to save it and then click on authorizations see uh, system will not allow you to go further until unless you create a profile name either you can set it manually or you can ask for system to propose one profile name so I am going with profile this and system will generate one profile name and then export mode per profile generations then again you need to save see here I can see here so authorization object for transaction code is s underscore t code which system checks when you are executing a transaction code from that user id so you can see here TCD is an object 
uh, operation in that one field VA01, VA02, VA03 so this is row one row we have created and then I am going to generate this so now authorization role has been created now we will try by assigning to a new user I will create that new user and I will assign this role created one role okay and then the, sorry I created one user for that I am going to assign rows which I have created so role and then one more important thing is to assign z underscore su 53 this is also one of the operation user will check whether the what is the authorization object is missing in this SU53 transaction so I am going to send this now this is test row user ID I am going to create one enter one VA01 transaction So what it says is no authorization of authorization for maintaining sales documents in 1010. So that I'm going to check in SU53 transaction. So you can see here. So far then this is one authorization object which is not assigned so this I am going to take and then so here you can see here manually entry for entry of authorization object Okay. Then go ahead. See here. You can see here. So what is the sales are missing? One zero one zero. Sales. Then distribution channel. You can see here value ten. Value ten. You can also give range here, or you can give full authorization. You 
can see here full authorization which means whatever the it, it will take it as a star star means the system will allow you to create any any division so there is no restriction or control on that so i am going to enter now single value 00, zero. and then one more important activity is what kind of authorization it is whether it is create you can see here create chain display so i am going to go with this three and one more thing is I have to see whether the object is active or inactive see this means inactive and then we need to activate the object so then save it then we need to generate this so it is generated then I am going to go for again VA01 transaction got one more issue with document type OR so same thing I am going to go again SU53 transaction so I got this authorization object for document type V underscore VBA underscore EAT. Go to change role and then add it. V underscore EAT. You can see here document type EAT document type. or I am going to go with full authorization and then activity and generate so I have generated again I am going to let's check again So whatever the rules and authorization we have created, its system worked for that user. So thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share it. Comment on the comment section if you have any doubts. Thank you.